The easiest way for a woman to start respecting you more as a man is being able to tell her no. You see, most of you guys get yourself in trouble. You set a frame where everything she asks of you, every favor she asks of you, you're always saying yes. You never tell her no. Now, what this shows her is you are a guy who's going to bend the knee to her no matter what. No matter how badly you don't want to do something, she could always convince you to do that one thing. Essentially, you are a pushover. And the reason that women don't respect men like this is because the reason you're like this is because you're too soft. You don't have a backbone. And if there's anything that women can all agree with, they don't want a soft man. You got to understand, it's okay to upset her and disappoint her here and there. She can't always get what she wants. And it is healthy and it provides unpredictability on your end. When humans are able to get whatever they want 24-7, no questions asked, it usually doesn't work out in the long run. They develop very negative traits that turn people off, and your relationship Ladies, is no Ladies, has a guy ever said anything that made you immediately swipe left in real life? These are the cringiest things a guy could say that's such a turn off. Calling everything fire or dust. Like, we're not at a freaking campfire sing-along, and we're not sweeping apartments. Could you sound dumber? All right, now if you're calling a girl bro, you might as well give her a fist bump and shotgun a beer with her because you're getting friend zoned immediately and staying there. Like at that point, if you're calling a girl bro, I feel like you're just asking to be friend zoned. And then there's the classic type shit. Like, how about you zip up Future's pants when you're done with it, buddy? There's no way you have girls that find you attractive after saying stupid stuff like that. Okay, when people say um, that food was gas, like whatever happened to just saying like the food was good? I don't know when gas started being associated with something good. Like, isn't gas something that comes out of your back door or something that you put in your car? I just, I don't know who comes up with these terms.